Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to check ABS codes in Isuzu vehicles. Vehicles. Um, as you can see, my ABS light is illuminated here at the top of the dash. Uh, this is my 2002 Isuzu Trooper. Uh, I've got a few other issues going on. As you can see, the check engine light is lit up. That's related to an EGR problem. Uh, and I also have transmission issues in this that I'm trying to uh, find a uh, used transmission to um, get the vehicle running. But anyway, I want to try to sort out the ABS code. Um, so it's a pretty simple process. Um, you can do this for free without needing a scan tool. Um, all you need is a jumper wire or a paper clip. And you can insert it in the OBD2 connector in the dash or under the under the dash depending on which vehicle you have and it'll um, put the vehicle into a self-diagnosis mode and you'll be able to check the ABS codes by um, watching the ABS light flash in a uh, special sequence and it'll basically just uh, show you the numbers associated with the code by the number of flashes. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got the engine running now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And what we need to do is, as I mentioned, insert a jumper wire into the OBD2 connector, um, which on my vehicle, this is an O2 Trooper, it's right beside the driver's door underneath your console buttons here. There's a little removable plastic panel here that conceals it. I've already got that removed. And what we need to do is insert the paper clip or jumper wire. Here's the wire that I've got. Uh, it's a small insulated copper wire. I don't know what gauge it is, probably 20 or 22 maybe, electrical wire, but basically the same diameter as a paper clip. That would work too. Um, we need to insert each end into ports or pins 4 and 12 on the connector. Now I've got a picture of the connector here showing how the uh, the pins are numbered. Um, you can see it's sort of a trapezoidal shape. The one side has a wider base than the other side so that when you connect a uh, scanner or whatever it can only plug in one way. So we need to look for the number one which is on the wider side. Um, that'll determine how our how we count over for the pins but basically 4 and 12 are right above each each other right next to each other so we need to connect those two with the jumper wire so looking back over here at the connector one would be pin one would be right there by my thumb Let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit better there we go so pin four would be let's count over one two three four there's pin four directly above it will be pin 12 so we just need to insert the jumper wire into those slots. I don't know if I can do this with my left hand or not. But it doesn't require a whole lot of force. There we go. And be careful, you don't want to break the um, connector here. But now I've got that inserted. And now we need to turn the key into the on position. Don't start the engine, just turn it on. And watch up here where the ABS light is, it's going to flash. Um, what, it, what should happen is it should flash once and then have a small pause and then it should flash twice to signify the number 12. And that basically means that the, the system's in self-diagnosis mode and it should repeat that sequence twice for a total of three flashes of the number 12. So one flash, pause, two flashes, pause, and then again, one flash pause, two flash pause, and then again, one more time. So that, once it's gone through that cycle three times, you need to pay close attention after that because then that's when the associated codes are gonna start flashing. Same thing, it'll flash a few times for the first digit of the number, of the code number, and then it'll pause and it'll flash a few more times for the second digit of the code number. And it'll do that three times and it'll go on to the next code if there is another one. And then once all the codes have been flashed, it'll flash 1 and 2 again for 12. Once you get back to 12, you know the sequence is starting over. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Again, I'm going to turn the key to the on position. 
and we should see the ABS. There you go. So just flash once, pause, then twice, pause. Once, twice. So I should do that one more time. Once, twice. All right, now it's going to start flashing the codes. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six, one, 61. Should do that twice more. Three, four, five, six, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. There we go, 61. Now it's going to flash another code. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. All right, that's the third time, 62. One, one, two. Okay, so it's back to 12. Now it's cycled through all the codes. So I know that I have ABS codes 61 and 62. Um, so now I can go to the printout that I have, and I'll, I'll share this at the end of my video. So it has all the codes listed. You can see here it starts with 12, which is no code. That just tells you it, um, the system's in its self-diagnosis mode all the way up through. Oops, dropped my paper. That's, another, that's a copy of the same thing, basically. Up through 65. So I've got codes 61 and 62, which are um, front left missing wheel speed sensor signal, uh, and 62 front right missing wheel speed sensor signal. Now, as you can see, beside 61, there's actually two separate issues possible. And I guess with a scan tool, it would tell me this number, which I would, I would be able to tell if it's the signal or if it's a wiring problem. But uh, this will get me close. And I've read that because if I have, if you have two wheel speed sensors um, missing at the same time, it's possible that when the brakes were changed, the uh, reluctor ring, which is basically what fits on the wheel hub and spins past the wheel speed sensor, it's possible that the mechanic forgot to swap the reluctor rings onto the new uh, hubs um, or hub assembly. So that might be what's going on with my vehicle. I need to get down and look underneath. Um, probably have to pull the, the tires, the wheels off and look around. But anyway, um, I will post all of these codes at the end of the video so you can determine what code you have and what that means. Um, but this is a quick, easy way that you can determine what's going on with your vehicle and uh, you won't have to pay someone to read it with their scan tool. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Um, again, it's very, very simple and all you need is a paper clip or a wire. So, um, you know, five minutes and you'll be well on your way to hopefully figuring out what's going on. I hope this video has been helpful and thanks for watching.